I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my new series in which all the students can participate. This series I am starting for the students who really want to excel in mathematics. So the idea here is to share the challenge problems and see how we can apply different strategies to solve them. You as a subscriber on my YouTube channel I am Anil Kumar welcome to my YouTube channel and the website globalmathinstitute.com let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching my videos and sharing their suggestions based on these suggestions I have started a new series this series will have challenge problems. Every day I receive 10 to 20 emails from my subscribers. They are looking forward for solutions of some questions which they find challenging. Some of these questions will be shared in this series. So the shared questions will be provided by the subscribers themselves. Now here is one question which has recently come from my subscriber i would like to share this with you i have categorized this question under probability for juniors so this question is challenging for junior and middle school students now let's look into the question and then we are going to solve it well remember one thing that this series is free for all the students globally. You can contribute by sending an email to me on the address given. And the key is participate and excel, contribute questions, and understand strategies. I would like, there are many teachers on our YouTube channel and knowledgeable people. I will like them to contribute in providing amazing solutions for these interesting questions okay so let's begin with one of the questions shared by the students the question here is in a bag there are blue green and red marbles there are four times as many blue marbles as green the ratio of blue to red marbles is 3 to 5. A marble is selected at random. Find the probability that the selected marble is blue or red. Perfect. So I hope you understand the question. Now you figure out a strategy, find the answer and provide me what you guessed or what you got as the calculated answer. Perfect. Let's look into the approach which we, we could follow to solve this question. Well, most of you will go with the standard algebraic method and some can use critical thinking and solve this question in less than a minute. So, I will say we will use critical thinking to solve the question in less than a I will say 30 seconds. Okay. So we are looking for a critical thinking strategy so that this question can be solved in less than 30 seconds. That is the challenge for you now. Okay. Now start thinking and provide me with the solution. So first, let me see how many of you have got the standard solution. Well, when we say standard solution, what does it mean? We are looking for the algebraic part, correct? So when you say standard, it means first step is in a bag there are blue, green and red marbles. We do not know how many of each. So we will say, well, define variables, right? So we say, well, blue, green and red. So the variables are blue green and red now we are saying 
there are four times as many blue marbles as green. So if green is G, then blue is four times G. That is what we get. Now we are saying the ratio of blue to red marbles is 3 is to 5. Means if this is 3, then that is 5. So that is the ratio of blue to red. So if there are B, then we can say this is 3B and that is 5B. Do you get the sense of it? Now that should help you to find the answer, right? Okay, so I think now some of you must have got the answer. Perfect. So what is your answer now? Okay, so we get an idea. Well, those of you who are into a lot of mathematics will be working something like this. Do you see my solution? Wow, amazing. So here is the solution. Let's have a look at the solution provided by some of our students. Okay, so how do we begin? Well, we need to find the probability that the selected marble is blue or red. That means we need to find how many blue, how many red and also how many green. Only then we can answer this question, correct? Yes. So let's begin. Let's say, let the green marbles be G. Now we know blue is four times G, then the blue marbles will be four times G, right? Ratio of blue to red is three is to five. So blue is to red is three is to five. What does it mean? It really means that B over R is 3 over 5. So you can cross multiply and write R in terms of B, 3B, 5B over 3. Now we know that the ratio can now be expressed also as in terms of green because we know that if we have one green, then there are four blues, right? So that can be helpful. So one blue, we can write in terms of green, correct? So we will write blue is four times green. So blue is four times green. So we'll replace that blue with four times green. So when you do that, you get what? You get 20 green, correct? So we have related red with green, which is 20 over 3 green. Is that okay? That maintains the ratio of 5 over 3. But we have related all the 3 terms in the ratio. So now, so we have related all the 3 terms in the ratio. Therefore, now the ratio is what? Blue is to green is to red is 4G is to G. We are writing all in terms of green, right? 20 over 3G. Now you can multiply all this by what? 3, right? To get rid of denominator 3. Do you see that? So in that case, 4 times 3 is 12. G3 and their 3 cancels. We get 20. So we get the ratio of the 3 as 12G 3G and 20G. Well, G can be cancelled and in simplest form, if we have 12 blue, 3 green and 20 red marbles, then all these conditions are met. Correct? Perfect. So, let's not talk about the probability, right? So, we know what probability is. So, we know probability is the ratio of what we are interested in, right? So, in our case, we are interested, we say, probability of success over the probability of total, right? So, that is what we say. So in, in general terms, in our terms here, we are saying probability of any event A is number of elements in A and number of total, right? We say sample, actually. So, total elements, correct. So, in our case, what is the required thing? We want blue or red. So, number of blue 
plus number of red comes in the numerator and their sum total comes in the denominator to give us the probability. So that becomes favorable, correct? So this is favorable over total or sample space, correct? So it is 12 plus 20, which we can add, which comes as for blue or red. And then the total is also at 3 for the green ones. And we get our result, which is 32 over 35. Is this clear to you? Perfect. It takes time. It takes a lot of thinking. It involves fractions. And so, you could get a wrong answer. And that is the challenge. Do you see that? So, how do we overcome the challenge? The question is how do we overcome this challenge? So what really made it difficult is this particular ratio. Do you see that? So we need to understand the concept of ratio and apply it. Now let, let's look into the strategy, which can help us solve this question in 30 seconds, right? So let's look into this critical approach. So once again, let's read the question. It says, in a bag, there are blue, green, and red marbles. So we have a bag which has blue, green, and red marbles, correct? There are four times as many blue marbles as green. So four times means if I write one green, then we have how many blue? Four blue. Is that clear to you? So do you understand this statement? There are four times as many blue marbles as green. If green is one, blue is four times. So we have four blue marbles. Is it clear? Yes. Next statement. Let me use a different color. It says the ratio of blue to red marble is three is to five. If there is three blue, then there are five red marbles. You get an idea. So we have the ratio in this table. If there are three blues, then for every one there is, for three it is five. Do you see that fraction coming into without a fraction? Perfect. Now, we are saying the marble is selected at random. That means we are looking for probability. Probability of what? Find the probability that the selected marble is blue or red. Or means add. Add, right? So you have options. You could pick blue or you could pick red. So either one of them, not green. So alternate approach will be not green. Do you understand? Probability not green. That is another way of doing it. So in that case, you can get your answer, right? So then answer will be one minus not green, right? So this is second alternate method, which you should try. But anyway, let's go with the first one. So how do we link all these values? So the idea here is to use a common factor. So whenever you have fractions, you have a common denominator. So what is common between 3 and 4? Well, the number common is 12. You see that. How do we get 12? That is going to answer the question. You get the idea. Let us see now. I think you got the result, right? Some of you must have got the answer now quickly within 30 seconds. Let us see how we get it in 30 seconds. So how do you get from 4 to 12? The idea is you have to multiply it three times, four times 12, correct? So you can multiply this three times, right? So you could do times three and you get what? You get three. So if we have three green, then the blue are four times. That becomes 12. Yes, that is it. Now, how about the red marbles? Well, how do you get from three to 12? It is times 4, right? Times 4, this time. So this will be multiplied by 4. And we get 20 here. 
Now do you see how we got the numbers? We got 12 blues, 3 green and 20 red. We have the answer, correct? So, we can say, well, let's go with the standard method first. And that is, we have probability that we have to get blue or red, which is 12 plus 20 divided by all of them, 12 plus 3 plus 20, correct? So, that is 32 over 35. Do you see how we got the answer? Just by using the ratios properly, we can easily get this solution. And that is what our strategy is. You get the idea, right? That is how we are going to solve it. So I hope now you understand how do we solve challenge questions, correct? So here is your three second, 30 second solution, right? So we filled up the table as I showed you. We began by saying that if there is one green, then there will be four blues. But if there are three blues, there will be five red. Now, common factor, so we say lowest common fact denominator, you can say, or the common multiple okay. so the common multiple is twelve between 4 and 3, right? Between 4 and 3 is 12. And we have used this number 12. How do we get 12? Have the same scale factor, correct? Have the same scale factor. And then you can get your result. Do you see that? Perfect. So that is the strategy. I hope the strategy is absolutely clear. I would like some of my friends to actually provide more shortcut methods in solving such questions. And all of you, as my subscribers on YouTube channel, I would like you to participate actively and provide some more questions. The whole idea here is to share and learn. That is what it is. So we'll have challenge questions every day depending on what you send to me. I am going to make a video, share your question and then we all can learn from your contribution. I hope you enjoyed our approach in solving this question. Please feel free to make your suggestions so that we can improve and all the subscribers and the viewers on my YouTube channel can learn effectively. Thank you for your valuable time. Good day.